Welcome everyone to our sixth episode of EBNEO Journal Club. We're really excited this, uh, for this episode to talk about the EBNEO Article of the Year campaign. And I, I wanted to start by bringing Nick in here and, and welcome back, Nick, to our EBNEO Journal Club. I, 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 wanted, I thought it would be great if you could tell us a little bit about kind of what, what the, the goals of EBNEO are as an organization and how this relates to that. EBNEO is an international nonprofit that tries to promote evidence-based neonatal care. And a key aspect of this is trying to limit the evidence practice gap in neonatology. So we're all busy. And for many of us, the pandemic has made us even busier. And so where does you know, this post-it note of keeping up with the, the latest evidence fit in with all the other things that are going on in our busy lives. And you can see here, of, of putting up a picture of one of our EV Neo board members, Omar, uh, looking at his watch, you know, the busy neonatal provider and trying to keep up with the evidence. So Nick, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about EV Neo alerts, what, what, they, what they are and how they might help the busy, busy clinician. So an early realization that we had um, as a group at EBNEO is that a major contributor to the evidence practice gap in neonatology is that the busy neonatal provider um, has very limited time. So EBNEO alerts is the hashtag that refers to um, a process that we took on um, by which a group of volunteer uh, academic neonatologists constantly curate the new neonatal clinical research literature in an effort to identify and disseminate particularly relevant new clinical research evidence. And, and people can search for using this hashtag across our social media channels, including Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and, and quickly pull up um, the most recent articles that have been curated. Yeah. So, one of the new things that has come up is the EBNEO Impact Article of the Year campaign. This is something you created, and I think the intent was really to make sure that we're highlighting some of the most impactful potential articles for the year. And um, so I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about this campaign and, um, and kind of what it is. It's, it's really an effort to double down, maybe even triple down on a limited group of articles, um, new research articles that are particularly impactful. You, how do you pick these articles? We have our social media editors that constantly curate the literature to generate EBNEO alerts. On any given month, I'd say roughly 15 to 20 articles are chosen, um, summarized, disseminated via our social media channels, as well as a monthly newsletter. And from these are um, 14 members of EBNEO vote on the two or three articles that we think may be particularly impactful. From these monthly nominees, we tried to choose uh, a handful uh, of articles to be considered for the EBNEO Impact Article of the Year. And each member voted what they felt were the top eight most impactful articles. And from those aggregate votes, we um, chose the eight that we will be putting forth to the neonatal community um, asking, do you feel this research article um, should and will impact your neonatal practice? So these were the, the eight highest ranked articles. And, um, and importantly, as, as we've discussed, this is really not necessarily as important to pick the winner, but really to, as an opportunity to highlight some of the most impactful literature of the last year. So this is the second year where we've done this as EBNEO. Nick, I wonder if you could tell us what, what came out of last year's uh, effort for the EBNEO Impact Article of the Year. Absolutely, and before I get into that, Ravi, I wanna just kind of double down on what you said. This is not about finding a winner. This is not about finding the best article. This is a deliberate effort in an engaging way to try to disseminate and bring awareness to some of the most important research articles of the last year. What we have here in this uh, image 
are the results of the 2019 EBNEO Impact Article of the Year. Um, so the campaign will begin this month in September. Um, and there are going to be a few changes this year. We'll be focused on eight articles rather than 16, as we were last year. And what you will find on our social media channels and on our website is for each article um, an infographic that tries to, uh, in an accurate but brief way, summarize each article, the methods, the findings. And for each article, there's going to be a series of polls that try to promote some deliberate thinking about the space between research evidence and practice by asking you to consider whether the articles will impact neonatal care, whether they've impacted your neonatal care, whether they'll impact neonatal care in the future. Um, and once we go through that process, we'll again engage in, in a bit of a, of a voting process to sequentially determine what we feel may be the most influential article published in this last year. And so one of the things we're gonna do now is reveal the Ibinio article contestants for this year. This is gonna be just a, a quick overview of all the articles that are gonna be up for competition. You will start to see these show up across our social media channels and linked below are each of the links where you can read more about these articles. What we're gonna show are just the EBNO alerts, these brief snippets of the articles. You can pause this video if you wanna read it, read it in more detail, um, but, but here they are. Here are the eight EBNO article of the year uh, contestants. The first is a trial comparing glucose treatment thresholds and looking at, at higher versus lower treatment thresholds for neonatal hypoglycemia. The second is a study looking at the use of recruitment maneuvers before administration of surfactant. The third article is comparing hematocrit treatment thresholds for extremely preterm infants that are needing red cell transfusion. The fourth is uh, randomized trial evaluating the use of laryngeal mask airways in low resource settings. The fifth is a randomized trial of the use of erythropoietin to improve long-term neurocognitive outcome. The sixth is a study of nebulized surfactant for infants with respiratory distress syndrome. Number seven is comparing two different seizure treatments for neonates with, with um, seizures. And our last article is the use of dexamethasone in uh, low resource settings um, for women at risk of preterm delivery. So these are the eight contestants. We really want you to know, want you to share which of these articles is most likely to influence your practice. Yeah, we're really looking forward to, to some of this voting. For, for those that are watching, please share this with some of your colleagues, maybe some of your trainees who would like to participate. And, um, and thank you to our viewers for watching Evenio Journal Club. Please subscribe below if you haven't subscribed. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.